This is another example of how to apply an F-test to a one-way ANOVA. In this example, we're looking for equality, uh, racial inequalities in exposure to environmental contaminants. Suppose in a city we have a survey of 60 respondents. So here we have, oh, here we have 60 respondents, so capital N equals 60. These respondents are split up into groups depending on their race, black, white, Hispanic, and Asian. And for each respondent, we measure how much exposure that individual has to environmental contaminants. And then for each of these four racial groups, we calculate the mean exposure level. So these are our sample means. And we calculate the variance of exposure within each group. So these are our group variances. And over here, we have our group sample sizes, N sub I. So this is all the information that we actually need to conduct our ANOVA test. Below what I've put forward is an example solution table. And this is a template that you can use over and over again when calculating F-tests. It keeps track of the degrees of freedom, the sums of squares, the mean squares, and the F ratio. And it tells you everything that you're going to need to calculate and how you're going to use those calculations to come up with your F value. So let's begin by filling out this table. First of all, we're going to need to calculate the between, uh, the between group sum of squares. And this is the formula for doing that. The formula depends on the total mean. We can calculate the total mean by just taking the weighted exposure means uh, sorry, by taking the group exposure means and weighting them by the, uh, by the group sample sizes. So in other words, it's the sum of ni times x bar i all over capital N. And in this case, I know that the total mean equals 20. So in order to calculate this, we're going to substitute the total mean here as 20. So this is equal to uh, the sample size of group 1, 12, and then we've got 27 minus 20, so 7 squared, plus 21 times 6 squared, plus 16, and then 24 minus 20 squared, plus 11 times 2 squared. And this is equal to 1644. Next, we're going to calculate the within group sum of squares. Here, we are going to be multiplying the group sample size, minus 1, times the group variance. And remember, here we had the variances, and here we have the sample sizes. So this is really easy to do. We just take 11 times 6, plus 20 times 4, plus 15 times 15, plus 10 times 12, and that equals 491. So let's fill in what we know so far. Let me make this table a little bit neater. Perfect. So first of all, we've calculated this. Oops. We've said that the between sum of squares is, four, is 1644, and the within was 491. The degrees of freedom for the numerator is going to be 4 minus 1, which equals 3. And for the denominator, we've got 56. So in order to calculate the mean squares, we're going to need to divide 644 by 3. And to calculate this, we're going to divide 491 by 56. And let me just quickly calculate those. 1644 divided by 3 is 548. And down below,
we've got 8.8. .8. And our F statistic is going to be the ratio of those two things, 548 divided by 8.8. .8. And that equals 62.3. So our F test, the test statistic, equals 62.3. We need to figure out what the F crit is. And in this case, we're going to go we're going to use the F table, go across to column 3, because we have 3 degrees of freedom on top, and down to 56, because we've got 56 degrees of freedom in the denominator. So here's our column 3. We need to go down to the 56. We don't have that degree of accuracy here, so instead we're going to look at 50 and 60. So we can see that the degrees of freedom for 50 and 60 are both 2.8. So we know that the degrees of freedom in between for 56 is also roughly equal to 2.8. So our critical value in this case is 2.8. And recall that an F is always a one directional test. So our critical value is here at 2.8. And our F statistic is 62, way out over here. And that's going to lead us to reject the null. So the exposure levels are not equal amongst the different racial groups.